Good morning and welcome to New Calvary Baptist Church. Good morning and welcome to New Calvary Baptist Church. God is good. We serve a great God, a God who is awesome, a God who is on time, a God who will never ever let us down. Hallelujah, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within him, and me, and you, and us. A God who is an amazing everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome Facebook and YouTube and all the other social medias that we are on this morning. Um, I want to call the service to worship. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will now have our scripture by Deacon Wilson. He will lead us with scripture and prayer. Following that, we'll have a song by our praise team. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody excited to be here this morning? Let us go ahead and put those blessed hands together all over this place. Home in your living room. Let's go ahead and tap in and give God some praise. Give him some glory. Give him some honor on this morning. Amen.
scriptures this morning is found in Psalms 34, starting at the 17th verse. The Psalms 34, starting at the 17th verse. And it reads, The righteous cry, and the Lord hear and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is now unto them that are of broken hearts, and save as such as be of contrived spirits. Many are afflicted of the righteous, but the Lord delivers, delivers him out of them all. May the Lord have a blessing to the reader, the hearer, and most of all the doer of his word. Amen. Let us pray. God, we come one more time and call on your precious name. Because you are God and God all by yourself. Because you are the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the everlasting Father. God, we come knowing that without you we can do nothing, but with you all things are possible. God, we come as giving thanks for another Sunday morning that we are able to come into your sanctuary to bless your name, God, to bend our spirits, God, but most of all to give your name praise. So, God, as we come together as a group of believers, God, we ask you to be in the midst, directing every situation, God, touching every person that has anything to do with it, God, especially the preacher of the hour, God. Go with her where she has to go. Deliver her word for her, God, because she's depending on you, God, that you will make the difference, not just her talking, God. God, we have so much to thank you for today, God. So many things going on, God, but we know that you're in total control. Yes. So, God, we continue to lean on you, God. We ask you to bless our pastor, wherever he may be, right in this very moment, God. Go with him and stand behind, God. God, we just thank you for all that you do, God. We ask you just to lead us and guide us through this service. Go with us and stand by us in the end, save us. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning again. I just wanted to remind everyone that if you're planning on being a blessing to New Calvary Baptist Church, you can give us an offering. You can do it in um, four ways. You can mail it in to 610 South Hill Street, Wilmington, Delaware, 19801. You can drop it off at our um, church at 606 North Hill Street. And then you can also use Giveify. And we also have Cash App. In any of those four ways, we would love for you to be a blessing to us. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do and, and how much you're going to do it in. Amen. And then we'll have uh, another song from our praise team. And um, then yours truly will be back. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I love you, yes, Jesus, yes, yes. more than anything. Yes, that's right. More than my family. Yeah. Yeah. More than myself. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come this morning. I want to give reverence to God. Thank him for another day. Yes. Honor to my pastor. Yes. Thank him for allowing me to stand here this morning. Amen. Amen. And I want to thank all of you who are here this morning Amen. to make preaching easier. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in this position for a while now, so... Everybody pray with me and for me. That God will have his way this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want to hear a word for myself this morning. Amen, amen. Uh, our deacon Wilson has already read the scripture, but I'm going to read it again, and I'll be reading from the New King James Version. And we're in Psalm chapter 34, starting at verse 17. And Psalm... Chapter 34, starting at verse 17. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as have a contrite spirit, a broken spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Heavenly Father, we come this morning, first and foremost, God, recognizing that you are God and God all by yourself. We recognize, God, that without you, there would be no me. So God, have your way in me and through me this morning, God. Take me out of self, God. Allow your spirit to rise up in me, God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Yeah, God. Father God, I know that I am not worthy, but with you all things are possible. Yes. So God, I just thank you this morning. I bless and I praise your name this morning, God. And Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, my Lord, my strength, and my Redeemer. And if everybody could say amen. 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 And amen again. I don't know about you, but this year has been full of troubles. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna try to talk about all the troubles that we hear on the news and at every place, because if I decided to talk about it, I would be coming from uh, the first, the, from the horse's mouth, we'll be coming from second sources, because I don't listen to the news. All right. I pray about what's on the news. Yeah. But I don't listen. I, I don't need all of that in my spirit. So I pray about it. And I hear about it. And, and I just know that there's been a lot of trouble. Yeah. But the scripture says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers them out of them all. Yeah. My question this morning is, that what do you do when trouble comes? Mm. Stay focused. What do we do when trouble comes? We stay focused. Vine's Complete Expository Dictionary describes the sufferings and the troubles of the believers. Vine says that believers will face suffering, affliction, anguish, hardship, sorrow, and tribulations. Trials and persecutions shall not come as a surprise to the believer. Scripture records the torture, imprisonment, hunger, and other hazards which confronted Paul and others as they preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, believers are encouraged to endure, bear sufferings as good soldiers without being frightened or ashamed, knowing that if they share in the fellowship of Christ's suffering, they will also share in his victory. At the time that this psalm had been written, David was anointed king over Israel. And 1 Samuel chapter 16, he, was, oh, he had also killed Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17. And now we find him in 1 Samuel chapter 21 in trouble, in exile, 
fleeting for his life. David, the eighth son of Jesse, was anointed king, and the power of the Lord came upon him to be king of Israel. At the time that that anointing fell on David, the power and the anointing left Saul, uh -huh. the current king of Israel. Some of us know the story of David, who was anointed king and soon after spent 10 plus years fleeing for his life. Amen. David, anointed by, to be king by God, had troubles. Saul wanted him dead. Saul was a jealous king. And, and if I could just put a pin right there, jealousy is the spirit that leads to murder, mm -hmm. envy, wow. strife, wow. divisions. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful when you allow that jealousy spirit to fall on you. Because yeah. mm -hmm. so. he saw him went from liking David to hating David. Mm -hmm. yeah. David should have been enjoying his status as the king. Right. But instead, he spent his time running for his life. Uh -huh. Saul was not the only one who pursued David. His son Absalom also wanted to see him dead. Uh -huh. David knew just what to do when trouble came. David stayed focused. And my first point is when trouble comes your way, uh -huh. the first thing you should do is praise God. Mm. And Psalm 34 and 1, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes his boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Think about that. On the run, praising God. Hallelujah. David praised the Lord for deliverance. When trouble came, yeah. David didn't blame God. Instead, he just broke out in praise. Yeah. Yeah. We should be about the same thing. Yeah. When trouble comes our way, instead of blaming God and focusing on our trouble, we need to be opening up our mouth and giving God some praise. Yeah. Many are the affliction of the righteous, yeah. but the Lord delivers him out of them all. In the year 20, the year 20, if, I'm sorry, if the year 2020 have brought you many afflictions, you ought to praise God. Yes. Oh, Western yes. Dictionary defines the words many as consisting of or an amount too large to number. All right. <laughs> I don't know about you, mm. but when trouble comes, it doesn't come trickling down one at a time. Oh, trouble that? comes come like a storm. Oh, you know, the wind's blowing, the hail came, the fires, the sicknesses, the death. When trouble comes, it does not care My who God. it attacks. My God. Yes. What are you praising God for? Mm. If you want to confuse your enemy and put yes. trouble on the run, put your hands together, yes. open up your mouth, and give God yes. some praise. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Because when we open up our mouth and praise God, the enemy scatters. Yeah, yeah. We put him on the run. And if all of us in here are opening up our mouth and praising God and being on one accord, we can put more than one enemy right. <laughs> on flight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in addition to praising God when trouble came, David prepared his heart. Proverbs 4 and 23 states, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. You know, David was also called a man after God's own heart. Guard your heart from the hidden snares and attacks of the enemy. Satan would like nothing better than to harden your heart. He wants you to be, in, he wants you to be controlled by bitterness. Yes. He wants your decisions guided by bitterness. Satan wants you to focus on anything wow. except God. Boy. Your past hurts, yes. your failures. Mm. He wants you to focus on your enemies. But God wants you to remember that we're not fighting against flesh and blood enemies. 
but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, yes. against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Yes. Satan wants you to focus on your cares and worries. But the word of God says, seek first yes. the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, yes. and all things will be added unto you. My God. Satan also wants to keep you distracted. He comes to keep you from fulfilling God's purpose. John 10 and 10 says that the thief comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. Yes. But Jesus said, I come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Yes. Satan wants you distracted, people. Yes. But you can choose to keep your focus on God. Protect your heart with God's word. Although the weapon may be formed, it will not prosper. All right. All right. You may see the storm form, but it will not prosper. Come on, Come on, Come on. You might be going through some stuff today, but it won't prosper. You want to know why? Because God has already made you more than a conqueror. Yes. Through Christ Jesus, choose to be humble and submit yourself to doing things God's way. Amen. And he will guide your path. He will strengthen your heart. When trouble comes, because we do not fight against flesh and blood enemies, in addition to praising God and preparing our hearts, we need to remember to use God's mighty weapons. To knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to, and to destroy false arguments. In order to win, we need to put on the proper attire. Yes. Hallelujah. In Ephesians 6 and 13, we are told to put on every piece of God's armor. Yes. So that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will be still, excuse me, still standing firm. Standing. He said, put on every piece. <coughs> put it on. Stand your ground. Put on the belt of truth. Put on the, uh, God's armor of righteousness. Yes. For your shoes, put on the gospel of peace, the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Yes. He didn't say arrow, meaning one. Arrows, yes. multiple. Right. Multiple. Yes. Put on the salvation as your helmet. Mm. I don't know about you. I was thinking about this last night. And when I put on my helmet of salvation, I just don't set a helmet up there. I put it on and I strap right. it under my chin. Because yes. I don't yes. want it to come yes. off. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Put that on and you don't take it off. I've heard people say, I'm going to put my salvation on the shelf. No, I want my salvation right here. Right, right here. Yeah. Covered. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Prepared. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then you take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Yeah. And then the Scripture tells us that we ought to pray in the Spirit mm -hmm. at all times. Just like we have on our armor at all times, we pray at all times. On every occasion, we ought to be praying. If it's a good time, pray. Yeah. Bad time, pray. Yeah. And you know what's important? If we spend more time praying for others uh. than we do ourselves. Because remember, the word said if we seek God, everything we need will be added unto us. Mm -hmm. So if we're seeking God for others, don't you think God's going to bless us with what we need? Amen. Not only are we to pray all times, we are to stay alert and be persistent. Yes. And then pray for believers everywhere. Amen. Because we're all under attack. I know that's right. And once we have our attire on and we're geared up, Christian soldiers ready for the battle, we got to remember one thing, that God is in control. Yes. 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 No matter what yes. we go through, God is in control. Okay. He's sovereign. Yes. He has all power. 
God is stronger than anything that the enemy can devise. My God. God is our source and our strength. God is our strong foundation. He is our weapon against the enemy and every tactic that the enemy tries to release. Make a choice today to surrender to God and your enemies will definitely scatter. Yes. Make up your mind that you will focus on God uh -huh. and not the enemy that you face. Yes. Psalm 24 and 1 states, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell be therein. The earth belongs to God. Every person and everything in it and on it belongs to God. Hallelujah. God is sovereign and no one can defeat, destroy, or dethrone him. My God, my God. Make a choice today. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Yes. Yes. But in all of your ways acknowledge oh, God Jesus. and he will direct your path. Don't worry about your enemies. We are commanded to love our enemies. Yes. Matthew 5 and 44 says, But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for anyone who mistreats you. Mm. The Lord commands us to love those who scheme, plot, and plan against us. Yes. So don't focus on their deceptive strategies. Right. Focus on his word. Focus on God's love. No matter what you're going through right now, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, That's right. and he will order your steps. When you can't see God or hear God, choose to be still and know that he's God. Just know that God is in control and that he is greater than your enemies. When trouble comes, shift your focus. And know this, that God is not limited by the things that limit us. God is not limited by the things that limit us. I get limited by fear. Right. I get nervous and, I, and I'm like, oh, I can't move, can't do this. I get limited by my worries. I get limited by everyday things that happen. And you know, it's, it's just, and, and, and I just feel the Lord telling me to share this. Share but it. recently, um, we had a death in our family. And you know, it's so amazing because when you're the one in the family, that needs to be strong, you don't get to focus on what's going on. That's right. You have to focus on where God wants you to be and how he wants you to be and what he wants you to do. You don't get to break down and cry. Because see, there's some times when God says to us, I know where you want to be, I know what you want to do, but that is not this time. Uh -huh. yeah. And this for me, this past two weeks, have been, I have to say the word interesting, because I got to see God move yeah. so many times. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And every time we thought that the doctors had the answer and the doctors knew what was going to happen, the doctor said, this is it, and God said no. Uh -huh. My God. He's My in God. control. My God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the doctors would say, this is it, and God said no. Uh -huh. He was in control, and I got to see, I don't know how many of you here or people listening on social media knew um, Marvin Cornegay, but Marvin Cornegay was a mummer. It was hard to understand anything that he said. You had to ask him two, three times, what did you say? I hear Jeff laughing because he knew him. <laughs> you had to really ask him, but during these last two weeks, when God was moving and working, it, he spoke with so much clarity. Wow. I was like, Amen. you could Amen. understand every word Amen. that he said. Amen. He was calling and asking for prayer. He's actually in heaven right now Amen. on the streets of gold. Okay. Okay. The Lord as his Savior. Yeah. You know, it's just so amazing 
that, you know, we think about our timing, but our timing is not God's timing. Not so don't give up on praying for your loved one. Right. Don't give up on reminding them over and over again that Jesus saved. Because it's not in our timing. Yeah, yeah. We think it should have happened. I thought it should have happened maybe 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't God's plan. That's right. So just remember, God's not limited by the things that we're, we're limited by time and what we want and how we want it and where we want it. But that does not limit God. Amen. When I think about the troubles that I've been going through recently, I am reminded that trouble don't last always. That's right. <laughs> Scripture said, weeping may endure for a night, That's right. but joy comes in the morning. I am also reminded of a song that you usually, most of the time I hear it is at a funeral, but it's a very on-time song. And if I could sing, I would sing a few bars. <laughs> but since I'm not a songstress, I'm going to quote it. <laughs> I've had some good days yeah. and I had some hills to climb I had some weary days and some sleepless nights but when I look around and I think things over hallelujah all of my good days hallelujah outweigh my bad days and I won't complain. Yeah, 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 Sometimes yeah. the clouds are low. Yeah. And I can hardly see the road. Yeah. And I ask the question, Lord. Uh -huh. Why so much pain? Why? Why? But he yeah. knows what's best for me. Yeah. Although my weary eyes can't see. Yeah. So I just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When trouble comes, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When trouble comes, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Hallelujah. I will just keep my eyes looking to the hills for when coming my help. Knowing that my help comes from the Lord. I thank God for every trial, every situation that come to make me strong. I thank God, so if you're going through some trouble today, don't worry. God is up to something. God is doing something in your life. God is preparing you for what's to come. Hallelujah. You can't get there without going through some trouble. That's just a matter of fact. You can't get to be the boss without being the one on the low man on the total pole. You have to start from some place. And trouble is the place for the believer. In order for God to refine us as pure gold, we have to go through the fire. My God. But guess what? You don't get burned. Ah. Hallelujah. 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 I thank God. I thank God yeah. for this opportunity. Yeah. I thank God that when trouble comes, it don't last always. Yes. I thank God that he's given me three beautiful children who are very strong through this process. I thank God for my pastor and my first lady who prayed. Yeah, yeah. Prayed me through this, and I thank you so much. God is awesome. You never know what you're going to be going through and when it's going to happen. But if we stay focused on God, Keep our minds yeah. stayed on yeah. him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And, and for those of you who don't know the Lord, if you're having troubles and you want to get to know God and you want to make sure that your troubles are not going to last all the way, I would say receiving Christ is as simple as ABC. Admit that you have sinned, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. None of us is perfect. We're all sinners. I know that's right. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And then confess your sin to God 
and then confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and the mouth and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Don't wait another day. Tomorrow's not promised. We don't know when. But if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ today as your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. My God. When trouble comes, I am so glad that I have a God. I have a Lord and Savior who's on my side, who never leaves me, who keeps me strong, provides for me. And you can have that today. Accept Jesus. Don't let trouble come and find you without me. Amen. I thank the Lord. <laughs> this is so new to me. <laughs> bless God. Bless God. I, I truly want to thank my pastor and for allowing me to be here. I want to thank my family for being so supportive um, during the time when we really need them. You know, it's good to have family, but it's better to have family to show up when you need them. You know, having people around, just having them around all the time is wonderful, but if they're not around when you need them. So I thank you, family near and far for your prayers and for being there, for supporting my children. And you know, it was so amazing. Today is actually Marvin's birthday. Wow. <laughs> All right. wow. Yeah, it, it was like, ah. but God is good. God is able. I tell you, God is in control. Because yeah. yeah. if it had not been for him, I, I don't know if I could be standing here right now. Yeah. So I thank God for that. And if all hearts and minds are clear, we will do the benediction. Not unto him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. 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 amen.